It was such an amazing space. It's a beautiful, beautiful building. It's a, a built in the Queen Anne style, I'm told. It has big mansard roofs and a stone and brick exterior. Uh, we did quite a bit of repairs eventually to the outside of the building and, for, and we had to take the exterior facing for half the building from the middle of the west side all the way around to the middle of the east side, around the back, start at the roof line, break down to the, I don't know if you know this, but I am told that a stone building has a double wall an inside and an outside stone wall, and then the middle of it is filled with rubble and gravel and bits of brick and bits of whatever was around. And if water gets into that, of course, it will freeze and then it will expand and it will shrink again. And eventually, the outside facade will start to bend and pull away, which is what happened with our building. And so the only thing to do to actually repair it was to start at the very top, right under the roof line, take all the exterior down, the ground and build it all back up again, which we did first one corner and then the other corner over two, two years. And so that took a considerable effort on the part of a not-for-profit organization. We did a lot of fundraising and a lot of grant writing and a lot of hard work to make that happen. Um, but it's, it's been worth it because it's, um, it's still got the same look of a 140-year-old building but at the same time it doesn't leak anymore, <laughs> which is great.